Hi, welcome. We are back on the machine. This is Erklinix D. And we have liftoff. So I booted up. There it is. Now it's we can see what we're typing about a little bit higher. That's it. So we have just made a video how to get on the Wi-Fi. If you have Arch Linux, if you have Arch Linux D, you don't have anything graphical. There's nothing available yet. So if you don't have a LAN cable to plug in, then you are at, at a loss. Not really. There are applications. This one is the one that's explained in another video, NM2E, which we're not going to do this time. So I'm going to get rid of it and going to clear this thing again. So we see, don't see all that blue. And we're back at the top. Let's zoom in a little bit higher. There we are at the top. So there is another possibility and uh, Xeon CPU has shared his knowledge with us. It's uh, a new core member so that you can know already. And um, it says, look, I am always using the network manager CLI command line interface. And then you just type tap. So the tap button once, twice gives you all the possibilities that you require. And then you say, I want to have a device, watch device. Well, um, probably Wi-Fi, so yeah. And then afterwards, hotspot list rescan. Let's connect to a Wi-Fi. Then you need to know the SSID. In my case, it's Netgear. Well, it's very important that uh, the letters are correct, capital or not capital. And the numlock should be on in my case, like that. And then I try to connect to the network. I say, okay, my password is coming. And it's of course Arc Linux, right? And I wanted to connect and say to Xeon CPU, hey, that's not working here. Um, so, okay, it's working, has been working like always, all the time. And at this point in time, it is working. But so it's maybe in my third or fourth take of the video, you know how it is. Um, so I contacted him and says, uh, this is a problem. And I was not alone with a problem. So uh, I found the solution on the internet. So if you have something, I don't know, what was it called again? I looked it up on Google, but it's, I'm not at my desk at this point in time. So I wanted to um, figure a solution. And of course you Google it, Google the error message. What I needed to do was delete the connection. That was something that apparently network manager can do at the first time you boot up or try this out. So I deleted this one. This is the code. Connection, delete, Netgear 26. And when you do that, it's successfully deleted. And of course, with an arrow up, I do the same thing again. Um, yeah, that's a strange message. But anyway, I do think we have uh, lift off let's have a look updates so there you go we are fully online and that's the point of the video so in there there's a solution for if things can go wrong use the delete the connection delete option with that as well so there you go a second video how to get online if you don't have a LAN cable but basically guys it's so much easier plug in and play right but um Sometimes these laptops are too small to even have a LAN um, cable connection. So there it is. This is how we solve it. All right. Cheers.